What's up, Tyson? Hey, what's up? Ah, for those that don't know, Tyson is my oldest son. He's been working at the shop ever since he was 18 years old. Mm -hmm. Jumped in, trial by fire. One day, we had a whole bunch of SpaceX jobs and the programmer wasn't getting it done and basically threw Tyson in the deep end and he had to program everything and... Now I'm learning how to program NLX. Yeah, so probably, what was that? You know, probably like eight years ago, something nine, like something like that. We've been programming SpaceX. Mm -hmm. Monel, Inconel, oh, Titanium. But have you ever ran a DMG more? Nope. Nope? Not until First, a few days ago. A couple days ago? Yep. So you did some test cuts, right? Yeah. What did, what did you make? Uh, we just made like a quick little, did like a hand program. Okay. You know, machine has some software in it to make some simple programs, so. Cool. Did like a little hex. Go ahead and, go ahead and lift it up, let me see. You did like so a little you had a few hex. Hex, the groove, OD turn. Awesome. Everything came out perfect. And that's three inch diameter? Yeah. Held that in the Royal Quick Grip collar truck. Yep, exactly what we got in here. Awesome, and that is that is because you're about to put in three inch diameter 6L4B titanium, oh, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys know what his, his first major project is? Uh, this is the king from the actual chest set that we had at IMTS in the Kenna Metal booth. But we thought the first tutorial that we did on this machine would be great if we did the king since we love it, but actually lifted it up and actually went to like, instead of using like quarter inch tools and three sixteenths, you went up to half inch and five eighths, right? Half inch, five inch. So now you're gonna make a, is what is it? Three inches by? I think it's like three by eight. Eight inches, yeah. a big old king. Yeah. And give it to a few special people that have helped us out, right? Mm -hmm. So good. So let me let me ask you, like let's just talk about the machine a little bit. Yeah, so. Sure. What about this controller? Like, how how hard? How easy? Well, it looks a little it looks a little scary at first coming off from a Haas machine, but this thing's crazy. Okay, so then, how do you like? Where does your program? Like, how did you how did you load your program? So you got a, you got all these different all these different tabs and stuff. I've got the auto mode, which I'm on the auto mode page right now, and this is where all your programs go. You got everything right here. Loaded the King program I made. And then you can do like a back, you got like your background edits where you can make changes and whatnot. Yeah. Awesome. So here's here's if I'm editing the program, here's if I'm gonna run the program. Okay. If I want to simulate it, I can go to background edit and then so, so load if you're the program. actually editing something, then how would you actually edit something at the control? Just pop into edit mode. And bring down the keyboard down here. So, you, so show me how you did that again. You brought the keyboard. Okay. Keep okay. And then, and then you oh, just go and type whatever you want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up a little bit. So go ahead and uh, just yeah. just put anything. whatever. And that's easy, huh? Yeah. So you grew up on phones and computers and mm -hmm. video games and stuff. So you actually went to Japan one time and stayed with a family, right? Mm -hmm. So. How is this machine like? That's cool because like you just click on click on the different modes you want to do. So handle dog mode, screen changes. It has all your info up here. So like go to MDI over here. Okay. And then up here. And then the MDI comes up over here. Changes over here. And then you can type, make little MDI programs the same way as before. Just type in whatever you want here. Cool. If you want to go back to the program and just go back to auto mode. Okay. If you what about like if you want to go to your offsets? Um. We can, go, we can go either in the jog page or we can go to the tool. You got all your uh, tool offsets over here. Okay. And then I can click on one or click on the where over here and add offsets. And you can change it right there? Yep. And it just does it? Yep. If you're changing actual numbers, does it ask you anything or you just change it and you just got to make sure that you like don't screw it up? I'm pretty sure you just change it. I haven't done an offset yeah. yet. So. It's pretty funny, right? The first time that you actually ran this. So the cool thing is Tyson actually taught himself this machine without any instruction and got, when DMG came recently, just for the first time ever, he already had the program in there. He had already programmed it. He basically, uh, all the tools were loaded. They were pretty amazed. So the coolest thing about this, is the front panel, this top one, you can completely customize however you want to. Okay. So you, you need to have your, more, your most important things for what you're doing, but if, you don't need like a cord in this tab here. You don't need, I like I put this MDI page here. 
so you can change it to whatever you need you, over here. You just drag it. Yeah. That's awesome. And you have like different ones. You can make your own exactly how you want it. And you were, you were showing me before that you actually went into and actually when you were trying to figure out like how to do certain things, you went into the manual. Mm -hmm. They have like a oh, PDF yeah. version that was just up there. That was over here. So what is that right there? It's like all your documents, every single manual. Okay. And when I was teaching myself this machine, I just had to search over here and I would search for like tool pro. I don't know if that's the actual name of it, so it might not come up, but. What if you just do pro? Probably. I haven't needed to search for it in a while, so I forgot what it was uh, listed under. <laughs> but, yep. Okay. So parts list. But, it, but it, it, it'll pop up with everything see right here in the manual. Okay. And then it's just, that's cool, right? It's yeah. just like a computer. It's just so, it is a computer, but it's right at the machine. You can actually watch videos on this thing, right? <laughs> huh? I don't know for sure. Can you but... play video games? Uh, I can't oh. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> and just the machine in general is just like, just beautiful, right? Let me, let me like back up a little bit. Uh, here, Tice. So what, you, you, what, what kind of coolant are you running? Uh, the Synergy. You running the Synergy? Yeah. Just clean, huh? It takes a lot of power. Yeah, it does. What do we have? We have like two 150 amp panels. Just kind of motors and things, yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and open the door. Let's look at some of the tooling. Awesome. So the Royal Quick Grip Collet Chuck, right? You're not actually running anything on your sub yet, yeah, right? Yet. And that's where the probe, the secondary probe is. So when you're running this guy, just attach it right on there. Okay. And what about when you probe your tools and oh, stuff? You just drag this down. Go ahead and do it just so we can see it. Yeah. So it just pops in right there. It's what what I told you when we got it, right? What did I tell you when I was telling you like, it's, don't worry about it. It's a lathe. It's a lathe, right? <laughs> it's a lathe. So it, we, it's going to do what we tell it to do. So it's some pretty, uh, Fancy tooling right here, the cam 50s. Mm -hmm. Oh man, so nice. So then these guys just pop off, pop back in. Yeah, you just unscrew the side over here and take it out. Yeah, people always ask me about the cap toe and it compared to the cam 50s, but then, or cam, cam has different sizes and stuff, but I know that these are ball locked, right? So mm -hmm. they're ball locked and they're basically just super rigid and if you crash them, it doesn't destroy the whole thing where a lot of, the other ones, like the captor, are pulled back, and if you crash it, like you destroy stuff, right? No, we, so, we're not gonna crash this. We're not. Yeah, don't even say the <laughs> word. Like I don't even like I used to say B B O O M. <laughs> we're not even saying it. All right, I'm not even gonna say it. No jinxing. Oh, look at that! And that's a live tool, right there. That's a beast right there. Cam fifty. Super awesome. Cool. Anything else you want to explain to us? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to start running it, so. <laughs> so you're going to start running it now. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do a tutorial on how to actually run it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to like go over speeds and fees and basically how to program the, the three inch. I'm going to teach the world how to run this thing. Oh man, <laughs> this is going to be awesome. While you learn, I mean, well, that's got to be a first. You're learning it and then you're teaching it <laughs> at the same time. Hopefully we don't make any mistakes. Hopefully. All right. Anyway, everybody knows my son Tyson. He's a champ. He makes some incredible parts and I'm super proud of him. Came here at 18. He didn't want to work here, right? He wanted to do other things, but he stayed, stayed the course. And after probably a year, he just ended up loving it. Now I got to beg him to go on vacation, <laughs> right? He's got a fiance and he's just got a great life and basically never calls in sick ever. I'm like, dude, okay. you need to go take your fiance, go take Tori, <laughs> go on vacation, go to Hawaii, get out of here, oh right? <laughs> Super good. You love machining, man? I do. It's awesome, right? You're making stuff. What do you love the most about machining? I just love making cool stuff like this. Yeah, just making cool stuff. Mm -hmm. and now I get to run a cool machine, so. <laughs> you, you're taking some trips to some big places too, uh, right? I mean, we just went, we just went to IMDS, that was crazy. That was awesome. What about SpaceX when you've gone oh, over there? Man. Crazy, right? Yeah. You walk in there, there's like a rocket sitting on the floor. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you actually make parts for that rocket. Yeah. 
It's cool, pointing, right? It's cool pointing them out too. Yeah. Like, oh, I oh, I know. And then the engineers know you by name, <laughs> and they're like, "Thank you for like running these parts." Mm -hmm. That's Super hard to believe. Cool. Huh? It's a little hard to believe. I know, man. <laughs> it's crazy. You're not even 30 yet, making it happen. Oh you guys know I'm proud of my son, man. I love him. All right. Thanks, Tyson, for your time. We'll check back in with you uh, later when you got a finished part. <laughs> All right. Cool. Okay. Bye. Bye.